VTV. Welcome back, Bears. I'm Daniel. And I'm Jocelyn, reporting from the VTV studio. Today is Monday, February 26th, and what a weekend for our Bears basketball teams. Our Lady Bears faced down Austin Westlake Friday night and came out with a 15-point win. Leading the ladies was Taylor Ross with 15 points and Mahogany Pierce with 12 points. This 55-40 win advanced the ladies to a showdown with Clark on Saturday. Sophomore Bella Fleming saved the season by dropping a career-high 47 points to lead the Lady Bears in an 80-73 win over the Clark Cougars, the defending 6A state champions. Bella hit a floater to tie the game at 67, sending it into the second overtime. In avenging last year's loss to Clark, Taylor Ross hit for 17 points, and Tyra Sotelo had 10 points to send our Lady Bears, regional champions, to the 6A state semifinals on Friday against Summer Creek in the Alamodo. Be a Fendi, ladies. Go get another one. On Friday, our Bears basketball rooted the West Lico Panthers 76-20. The double guard shooting duo of Camden Kogel, who hit for 19 points, and Kingston Flemings, who added 15 points, helped send our Bears to the Class 6A regional quarterfinals. Let's get out to cheer on our Bears as they face the Jay Mustangs tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. at the Northside Gym. Continue to dominate the court, Bears. Congrats to our Bears varsity and JV track teams for taking first place at the New Braunfels Unicorn Invitational this past Saturday. Highlights include first place for Kimball Gurr in high jump, Javen Dalton in triple jump, Clifton McBride in long jump and 100-meter dash. Bears also placed first in the 4x100 and 4x200-meter relays. Devin Gills in the 200-meter dash, and Zach Miller in the 1,600-meter run. Way to place, Bears. Kayla Lyons got back to form by placing first in the 800- and 1,600-meter runs, and Jalea Sims placed second in the 400-meter dash and third in long jump. Gianna Brown second in shot put, third in the 4x100 and 4x200-meter relays. BFND Bears. And congrats to Starlets and Golden Stars dance teams competed at the Santa Marcos Showtime Dance Competition and coming back as grand champions. Dance on, Bears. Kudos to our Bears baseball team, who won three out of the four games at the Seguin Tournament last week. They lost to S.A. Piper, and they won out against Taylor, Seguin, and Wagner. Via Fendi Bears, tomorrow against Taft at Northside Field 2 at 4.45 p.m. And our Lady Bears softball team walked away as champions at the NEIC Showcase by defeating Edison, McCullum, Clark, and Clements. The ladies face East Central on Wednesday at 7 p.m. at Northside Field 2. Brennan Advanced Academics would like to remind some of you about your unsubmitted Apply Texas application, which is the first step in the dual credit application process. Brennan works with Nor Northwest Vista College to allow eligible students to earn college credit for certain high school courses. If interested, about 2024 to 2025 school year dual credit courses, visit brennandc.weebly.com for more information. Parents, if your senior is planning to attend Northwest Visa College, then the March 2nd parent session from 9 a.m. to noon at the Palmetto Center for the Arts is for you. You will see valuable information to help you guide your senior. You can sign up at bit.ly slash NBC Parent Night. Take advantage of the session. Star scores have been updated, and if you did not meet the passing score for an EOC, come to Accelerated Instruction from 8.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. this Saturday. Check-in time is 8 to 8.30 a.m. in the main entrance of the school. Remember, bring your Chromebook. Seniors, on Wednesday, you will have your senior panoramic 24 aerial photo. Seniors need to report to first period, then listen for the announcement to go to the band pad. Seniors and juniors, if you're interested in joining the military, you'll need to take the ASVAB exam. Use this QR code to sign up for the March 8th exam. Get your tickets now for the Starry Night Prom. They went on sale Tuesday in room C-130. You can get yours for $70 every Tuesday and Thursday mornings, fourth, fourth period lunch or after school until 5 p.m. Remember, you must be in good academic and behavior standing. Finally, Bears, tomorrow is course selection day, where teachers will review your course selections for the 2024 to 2025 school year. They want to ensure everyone has selected the right course for the next school year. For example, principal Principals of Arts, AV Technology students who want to continue into editing videos, they would need to be an AV production one. Or principals of Transportation students would advance into Automotive Basics. And yes, from English 1, students go into English 2. Well, this is all we have for today, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter at BTV Bears. And if you missed any part of this broadcast, catch us on YouTube by searching for BTV Bears. If you have any announcements for BTV, please email Mr. Serna at fernando.serna at I'm Jocelyn, signing off from BTV. 
Let's keep a positive mindset, stay engaged in our learning, and continue to evolve every day. And I'm Daniel. And I'm Daniel. Be sure to wear your IDs. It's a safety and security measure. BFND Bears and Lady Bears Basketball. This is a BTV production.